Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are at the center of controversy again, this time within the world of podcasting. After Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle's dramatic fallout with the British royal family in 2020, the couple's production company, Archwell Audio, inked a deal with Spotify reportedly worth $20 million. Signed in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, the husband and wife sought to bring more stories of hope and compassion to the audio streaming platform. But more than two years later, and after their Spotify deal was cut short, it seems the duo's positivity-oriented podcasting efforts have left a negative impression on some people. Last Thursday, Archwell Audio and Spotify announced in a joint statement that they mutually agreed to part ways nearly three years after the ex royal signed on to produce podcasts and audio shows for the streaming giant. Since landing the deal, Archwell Audio only released one audio series, the Megan-hosted Archetypes, and a 30-minute 2020 holiday special. We are proud of the series we made together, Spotify and Archwell said in a joint statement shared with The Times. Hours after news of the Sussex's breakup with Spotify spread Friday, the Ringer founder Bill Simmons, who is the head of Spotify's podcast innovation and monetization, called out the couple. Let's say I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation, he said on Friday's episode of his self-titled podcast. He continued, The F. Grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched them. I gotta get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with a podcast idea. In January, Simmons, who sold Podcast Network, The Ringer to Spotify in 2020, also said he was embarrassed to share Spotify with Prince Harry. You live in Montecito and you just sell documentaries and podcasts, and no one cares what you have to say about anything unless you talk about the royal family and you just complain about them, he said. That remark took aim at the affluent California coastal community Harry and Meghan moved to after leaving the UK, and likely referenced their series of bombshell revelations since, including their incendiary 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, recent Netflix documentary series, and Harry's bestseller Spare. As the Sussex's Spotify deal fizzled, it seems Simmons was not the only person who took issue with the husband and wife's business practices. Pod News reported Monday that former suit star Megan allegedly faked interviews for her Archetypes podcast. The website reported that multiple interviews were allegedly conducted by other staffers, and Megan's questions were later edited into the final product. The outlet did not specify whether conversations with celebrities or Archetypes expert sources were the interviews in question. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.